So we just got a nice increase here for Gala Games. We have to check out what's been happening here because Gala Games just acquired a hundred million fund for basically NFT games. So you have to check it out to see what's been happening here. Now, of course, if you do enjoy this video, it means so much to me if you can like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go and check it out. So first thing first, here our core market cap. You see the market cap right now for Gala Games basically three point seven billion dollars. The volume here did increase by fifty percent. We're at seven hundred and eighty. 80 million volume which is still really really good here for this token and we did go up by eight percent here so we're right now we're at 53 cents which is a good number 321 thousand watch lists again pretty cool pretty cool to see what's been happening here so here we are at the chart here as you can see we got some increase here for the token and this is pretty cool this is pretty cool to see because finally we're doing something good here. Now, why are we increasing? Basically, we did hit this all time high 84 cents. Right now, we're at 53 cents. So, we're getting there. There's still a lot of way to go, but we're getting there. We have to make a giant reversal. And finally, we're seeing signs of that kind of reversal, but still, we're far away because we need to break new highs. So this is my previous triangle to show you guys basically what happened here. We broke to the top side of the triangle, like I said, but, uh, but what happened is that Bitcoin got rejected and Bitcoin continued to go down. So because of this, Gala Games, they go down with Bitcoin. So how much did we decrease for ever since this pump here? We did go down all the way to here. So that's about 34% decrease. And that took like eight days here, eight days for us to stabilize. Then we did stabilize to the sideways a couple of days here. And finally, we continue in the end here to go up. Now, why are we going up? Well, mostly because Bitcoin is in a good situation right now where it did break through a triangle here. And just because of that, we're okay. Right now, we're pretty much okay for Bitcoin. Uh, we should be seeing increases for a ton of tokens here. A ton of tokens have been making reversals and everything. So for now, patience is key here for this token now i have to find all the games here i have a ton of tokens here that i'm keeping track of but i don't need all of them I, I should delete some of these guys here so good thing that happened here again is that we did make this bullish cross so we had the four hour chart right now and basically we made a bearish cross right over here in this area so this was basically on the 3rd of december we then made a bullish cross and we did pump up, like I said, but in the end, we made a bearish cross. We continue to go down even more. And finally, right now, again, we made that bullish cross. Now, the problem what I'm seeing here is that we're in like a, a funnel here. The biggest problem with these kinds of funnels is that these funnels in the end do break down to the downside. But the thing is, even if we do, I believe that we're still going to just break through the top side. So even if we do like dip below this funnel, something like this. I mean, if we just go down right now and, and just exit this funnel here to downside, I still believe that we're just going to stabilize here to sideways and then start to go up again. So we have to check this out. Basically, uh, we are inside of this funnel. We Are we going to keep going up? There is a chance that yes, we're going to still go up here a little bit. The problem is right now, the RSI is too high. So we have to have some kind of correction right now. Just a tiny bit of correction, maybe 5%, I believe. And then once we hit one more time, like this triangle, like this funnel here, then we should be able to continue to spike up again. So first a correction here a little bit, because this is what's been happening. So as you see, we got rejected here, going down, pump, going down, pump. We have to go down now. So I'm going to see, I'm going to measure this still from here to this level. Yeah, 6%, maybe even 7%. After that, it should be like another pump here, and we should be increasing all the way to somewhere around this level. Not 100% sure, but it's it's an it's just an estimate. Of course, we could be uh, like the last time here, just halfway there, something like this, like halfway there, get rejected, and then try again. So basically, still in the funnel, still in the funnel where we are still going to keep going up. One time, we are gonna get rejected out of this funnel. And then what's going to happen is basically we're going to stabilize the sideways. I don't believe that we're going to go down because we are still in the bull, bull market. Because we're in, still in the bull market, there's still so many opportunities here for this, this token here to actually go up. And Gala Games just has tons of use cases. Like, it's a really good project. <laughs> It's a really, really good project, and I believe it does have so much potential. Like I said, the market cap, 3.7 billion. This could go a lot more, guys. A lot more. Like, this project does really have a ton of potential. I think it even has maybe even a 10x, but not right now. Like, later on, when Metaverse projects do explode, Gala Games is going to be one of those, like, central hub places. It's gonna be like Steam. Imagine having Steam. Imagine them becoming Steam, or like... 
Epic Games. That's that's the potential here because they can be a central hub for these kinds of games and then they can make basically a store where people can buy games and all the blockchains work and you can buy games with your Bitcoin, with Gala tokens, whatever you want. So if something like that does happen here for Gala games, that's going to be pretty much insane and pretty much amazing. And I'm hoping that they are trying to do something. Gala here, not too many updates on their Twitter. It's basically about the event they have. So you can check that out. But also for Christmas, it says here, they're from Cheerful Vox, just playing in the snow, and games that said, Creative Souls a glow while overwhelmed with gratitude and cheer, we wish you an empowering new year. So pretty cool, pretty awesome here. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, guys, to everybody. So yeah, good things are still happening here. We're kind of stabilizing right now. The whole market is stabilizing because... It is the holidays, so people are not heavily investing right now. But once the holidays are over, once people do get used to again to work and everything, then probably gonna see massive increase here to a ton of tokens here. I wanna talk about this article here saying Gala Games and C2 Ventures launch a hundred million fund for blockchain games. So it says here the found represents the alliance between Gala Games, the blockchain game company headed by Zynga co-founder Eric, and a new crypto investment fund fund led by Kara Sun, former head of blockchain investments for Haobi. So it says here that Foundcom will win Galaverse event over the weekend in Las Vegas where Gala Games announced game uh, deals with Red, Peter, uh, Ember Games, AMC and Certain Inf Affinity. So it's another sign of excitement around non-fungible tokens, NFTs, which uh, represents a new way to monetize games through the authentic authentication of unique digital items. The joint fund will invest in game developers and emerging projects building with blockchain technology, including but not limited to play to earn, gamify, metaverse, and other decentralized gaming solutions. This was pretty much amazing. So they band together, they got a hundred million fund right now to basically invest into play to earn and metaverse type of projects here. So it's going to be pretty cool because I do believe that this is the future. I do believe a lot of people will just stop out outright working their jobs. They're just going to go play video games, earn money from there. And that's it. Because that's the thing. If you're having so much fun in a game and plus you have enough money to just basically live and everything so why would you ever do anything else <laughs> because if you have all your friends in the game and you just have so much fun like why would you leave like that's that's my reasoning for this year this is why i believe like metaverse and these types of games will just explode like imagine the typical like league of legends or csgo player basically earning money earning like one thousand two thousand dollars a month for just playing the game that would be insane because people will just start to play more and more and more you just want to leave your house so this is the future i think will happen here do i like this kind of future no because i do like real world interactions but uh it is what the world is coming to like people are interested into these kinds of projects and people just play from eight to ten hours a day games so if they can earn from it and plus they're having fun yeah that's okay <laughs> it's okay but just no, it's not scammers. No, so please, no, no scammers here. So yeah, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So yeah, guys, in the end, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. If you did enjoy this video, it means so much to me. If you can like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys in the next video.